Uh, this is a setting the bar story, which is, Kelly... It's an example of what not to do or a situation we hope you don't find yourself in. Look, never faked a urine test, never needed to even take one. Uh, but the first thing I think you'd need is a clean sample, right? Sure. I mean, that's how you pass that. Right. right? Something needs to be tested. There's chemistry involved, right? Not just kind sure. of like a an eye test, right? Yeah. Well, Shannon should have been told that because if you can manage to make it through the day without faking your urine test by using soda and tap water you're doing okay let me guess did we water down some mountain dew because I mean, it looks we, like pee? we don't know exactly the soda but yes that's where my mind went it went to either mountain dew or maybe some ginger ale or something <laughs> Or mellow yellow. Maybe, perhaps. But yeah, uh, what state do you think this happened? Florida. Florida. Yes, Florida. <laughs> Shannon, she has been charged with urine testing fraud, which... Oh, oh that's a thing. Yeah. yeah. You can get in trouble for that. Yeah. Oh, not just not getting the job. Right. I mean, getting an actual trouble. She needed to provide a drug test and uh-huh. knew that she was probably not going to pass. So she was like, oh, you know what? Okay. Um, I know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to fill up a little pill bottle with soda and tap water, hide it, and then during the test, just use that. Now, there you go. (laughs) She was actually caught faking the test in the moment. It wasn't even a case where they were like, uh, tested it afterwards and were like, oh, yeah, this isn't even. uh, They they saw her pour the soda in the. Oh, my gosh. No, I mean, they they, they saw her pour the, the pill bottle of liquid. You know, in in the sample, right? But got it. Either way, she wasn't going to get away with it because the, like we said, soda and water mix would have surely ruined in a failed test or resulted in a failed test. I've seen a lot of people like get friends they know would pass the test to pee in a cup for them. One of my favorite examples uh, that went around the radio world was uh, there was a a uh, a personality not here in Louisville. Uh, but who had to take a test, maybe um, their company. Our company doesn't do it, but uh, their company had just like random, um, you know, drug tests or whatever. And so used a friend's, well, turns out they said, hey, congratulations, you're pregnant. <gasps> oh, and then let me guess. He wasn't a woman. It was a, it was a guy. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Oh, that's yeah, awkward. Yeah, awkward. <laughs> that's awkward. I mean, that would have... must have switched the samples or something. No, I don't know. No, 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 no. You guys Anyways, the system fixed. Look, I've never had to do one of those, but the first thing I think I'd probably try to do is actually find real uh, urine to use. Okay, so Mountain Dew's not going to work. Mountain Check. Dew Got and it. water not going to work, yeah. Got it. <laughs> All right, so again, good note. If you can manage to make it through the day without faking it, by using soda and tap water, you're doing okay. Good note. Thanks, Shannon. (laughs) Thank you, Shannon. For the life lessons here on Setting the Bar. (laughs)